writer of Barstool Entertainment doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. And I'm going to start this video out with some practical advice because gangs aren't going to be happy when you start raiding their camps and attacking them because, well, yeah, you have to, I think, raid six gang camps and kill them and live in order to get 100% in Red Dead Redemption 2, they're going to want revenge. And that puts Arthur at, uh, how shall I say, serious setup for ambush. And ambushes can happen any time. But I'm going to give you some practical advice where ambushes may hit. Let's say it's been a couple days since you played and you want to get back into gameplay wherever you start from, whatever. You know, I'm starting here in uh, St. Denis. Before you even start leaving or moving, you want to put in a save over your older save, a brand new save over your older save. It's just a finicky thing. I mean, if you don't care about starting again from your previous save, I did nothing there. But what you want to do is you want to put a very recent save in. Go to your save game and put in a new save or overwrite the one you had before. But this is just a safety thing. Now I'm going to go to a certain area and explain to you another practical thing. When you come upon a covered bridge, before you cross it, you want to put in a hard save. The reason for this is, if you're ambushed in the covered bridge, and I've that's happened several times, uh, you can just start over. And then another thing is, before you cross the covered bridge, arm yourself with a rifle of some sorts. I got the semi-automatic shotgun and you're ready, you roll up. If you're not ambushed, you're good. Again, save before any covered bridge. Now that's my practical advice. Let's get on with raiding an O'Driscoll's camp. <laughs> Wasn't done with us yet? Wasn't done with you either.
Well, since they got this fire set up, I might as well uh, do a little crafting. There's usually not a lot in these camps of any value. The value is on what you can loot from the guys. I'm going to craft these bitters because I need at least three or four more to get the herbalist challenge dealt with. Okay, I succeeded herbalist three. Again, this is stuff I need to do in order to get 100%. Going to wander around the camp here, see if I can find anything of value. Again, when you raid an enemy camp, that is needed for 100%. And of course, you know, I'm trying for 100%. And I'm finding not a lot here of any value. You take stuff off the guys themselves. That's usually a value. I'm going to get out of here. I'll show you a, another, how shall I say, attack on a Driscoll's that I had before. And now I'm including it with this camp rating. So let's move on. You borrow from the O'Driscoll boys, you pay the O'Driscoll mm -hmm. boys. I made it right with you, I What you staring at? Well, looks like you! Oh, this is Jesus. going best, huh? Got in their heads. God damn it, it's worth dying for, Phil. I added in that safe cracking as a little extra for you. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week, plus some specials and some shorts, and you don't want to miss out. As always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.